Did you know it's super easy to make sorghum flour at home? Just take some whole sorghum grains and you can turn them into sorghum flour. It's the perfect flour to feed a gluten-free sourdough starter and bake all sorts of gluten-free goodies. Sorghum flour is nutrient-rich, high in protein, dietary fiber, vitamins, and minerals. And it has a fabulous neutral taste. So let's make some together. First, we're going to wash our sorghum grains. And this is a really important step as this will get rid of any dust or dirt that has been on them due to transport. Continue rinsing and straining your sorghum grains until the water runs clear. Next, we're going to pat them dry and then dehydrate them either in the oven or even just on the countertop spread out on a tray. You want to try and remove as much of the liquid as possible so that it dehydrates as quickly as it can. Spread it evenly across your tray for even drying. Then I like to dehydrate mine in the oven and this allows it to slightly toast as well and bring out the flavor. As you can see, I have my blender bread recipe to come soon rising in the oven at the same time. Once you ensure your grains are completely dry, we're going to mill our grains. You can either do this in a high powered blender like mine here, or using a grain mill if you're lucky enough to have one. Make sure that you're doing this in small batches as it really helps. Next, we're going to carefully release the steam vent if you have one on your blender and slowly release the lid. And you can see it's not quite as fine as I want it to be yet. So we're going to sift it through a fine mesh sieve to get rid of any large particles. I like to set these aside and blend them separately later. Take this roughly milled flour and blend it again to achieve a nice smooth and soft texture. I just love milling my own flour. It has such a lovely smell. You can tell it is just incredibly fresh. Finally, sift it one last time and then you'll have a nice, lovely, soft, smooth and finely milled sorghum flour. Always store it in an airtight container. And now at a fraction of the cost, you have a beautiful fresh flour to feed your sourdough starter. And join me next to make my incredibly delicious superfood blender bread that will just blow your mind. Thanks so much for watching and please like, comment and subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified when my next video comes out.